I mean, 10 to the fifth power is nothing but 10. Uh, it's it's <laughs> 10 thousand, no, 100 thousand. No, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Would you please go? Yeah, this right here is the ghost board. Okay, <laughs> if you haven't been introduced yet. <laughs> A huge thanks to my Patreon supporters for making this episode possible. I am not yet done with repeating decimals. I still have a bunch of videos up my sleeve that I want to cover, kind of interesting ones. And today I would like to take a look at how to express repeating decimals as fractions. Once again, just like before, links in the description, but this time using calculus. Okay, we are going to make use of calculus to derive the basic formula for expressing repeating decimals, periodic pe decimals as fractions once again. I hope you are going to enjoy what you are going to see today. We are going to take a look at a concrete example once again today. And from this we can basically check generalize once again. And the concrete example, let me think for a second, um, let's say this is nothing but, um, okay, 0 dot um, 420, 69, but the whole thing repeating. And we want to see how we can express this right here as a fraction once again using calculus this time. Okay, at first let me write it out a tiny little bit. And then we are going to deduce a bunch of things from that. Okay, this right here is same as 0 dot 42069. 42069, 42069, and so on, up until infinity, repeating um, infinitely many times this periodic decimal um, string that we have right here. Okay, now what I would like to do is split this up a tiny little bit because you might notice something. Namely, what this right here is, is just the addition of a few decimal numbers. In other words, this is 0 0.42069 and then plus. Okay, now we took this out of the string. Let us take a look at zero dot blah 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 up until this with zeros repeating after that. So plus zero dot one, two, three, four, five. Okay, those were the five numbers here. Four, two, oh, six, nine, and plus da da da, and so on. I think you get the drill. Okay, next up would have been zero dot ten times zero and then four, two, oh, six, nine, and so on. Okay, now what is this here exactly? Those decimals that we have right here. I mean, what we got here is nothing but 42069, but times 10 to the, okay, how many decimal places do we have? One, two, three, four, five. Ah, times 10 to the negative fifth power. Okay, plus. Okay, next up, this right here is nothing other than 42069 times, okay, um, up until the 10th place, times 10 to the negative 10th power. You might guess probably, okay, negative five, negative 10. Next up is going to be plus 42069 times 10 to the negative 15th power and so on, up until infinity. Now the cool thing is we basically extracted our repeating decimal expansion. So the, the number that's going to repeat infinitely often. Um, from this decimal expansion that we have up here. And actually it appears on each and every summon that we have right here. Namely, we can factor it out, leaving us with 42069 times, okay. Now we got 10 to the negative fifth power. Hmm, next up, okay. 10 to the negative 10th power, I mean 10 is nothing but a multiple of five. Okay, 10 is two times five. So this right here is plus 10 to the negative fifth power, but by the exponentiation rules squared. Okay, if you don't know about exponentiation rules, um, Flamble Maths 2, definitely check it out. Okay, now you might guess what next step is. I mean, this right here is nothing but 10 to the negative fifth power to the third power. So plus 10 to the negative fifth power to the third power, plus and so on, up until infinity. Oh, well, this is good, right? I mean, this right here is just a series of powers of 10 being added together. So meaning this right here can be expressed as 4269 times the infinity boy where, okay, um, let us take a look at the running index. I mean, we got 10 to the negative fifth power to the first power and then squared and then third. Meaning this is something 10 to the negative fifth power to the, let's say, kth power. Okay, but our running index starts at one. So k being greater or equal to one. Hey, this is good. This right here is just a geometric series, right? I mean, it's 
even in the radius of convergence because 10 to the negative fifth power is 1 over 10 to the fifth power which is definitely between 0 and 1 in some way. So this thing definitely converges but we are not yet at the geometric series completely because a geometric series would start at 0. Meaning what is the zero of term on each and every geometric series? This is just going to be 1. So to get ourselves a geometric series what we are going to do is something that I have used in integrals so often. We are going to add a 1 to it and subtract it yet again. This is just adding a 0 really doesn't change anything. If I give you an apple and take it away from you okay you don't have any apples and this won't change anything on your bunch of apples that you have here so this is good meaning what we have here is nothing but a geometric series in 10 to negative fifth power leaving us with 1 over 1 minus 1 over 10 to the fifth power and all of this minus 1. And now we can start computing what we have here right, uh, right here in parentheses and that's actually quite easy. So what we got is for 20 61 uh, 69, <laughs> not 61, 61, okay, and this multiplied with, okay, what we got is 1 over 1 minus 1 over 10 to the fifth power is nothing other than 1 over, okay, let, let me write it out, 1 over, and we got 10 to the fifth power, minus 1 over 10 to the fifth power, bringing this onto a common denominator, and then negative 1. What we need to do now is we can take the reciprocal here leaving us with 10 to the fifth power over 10 to the fifth power minus 1 and then we can expand this negative run right here with just a common denominator 10 to the fifth power minus 1. So what we got overall is nothing other than 420, 69 and then times. Okay, if we were to bring it onto a common denominator 10 to the fifth power divided by 10 to the fifth power minus 1 and then negative we're going to get 10 to the fifth power minus 1 over 10 to the fifth power minus 1 and now the very cool thing is that you can distribute negative sign into here so adding this together is going to get rid of the 10 to the fifth power leaving us with 1 over the common denominator namely 10 to the fifth power minus 1 so overall multiplying 4269 into here is going to give us 4269 divided by 10 to the fifth power minus 1. And it's good, right? It's the standard result that we got before. I mean, 10 to the fifth power is nothing but 10. It's, it's 10,000. No, 100,000. I'm being retarded here. 100,000 minus 1 is 99,999. So meaning, this is just the same algorithm that, that we got before. Namely, what we are going to do is we are just going to fill each and every um, integer decimal place up with 9s down here. Yeah, and this is just what we got before. And it, it really doesn't matter which number you have up here because you can have a string of length k and you can just go through the same procedure. Then you are going to get instead of 10 to the negative fifth power, 10 to the negative kth power since you have a string of length k. And then you go through the whole geometric series um, stuff once again and, and then you are basically done. And also it really doesn't matter if you got the other decimal types that we discussed before, namely if you got something like 420.12346969 repeating, so just the 69 repeating, you just go through the whole breaking up of the decimals, okay, into the integer and also the fractional part, and then you are just going to go through the whole process once again of using calculus right here. And yeah, this is basically one of the keys to repeating decimals. And I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did like this little insight, and make sure to recommend the channel and what the fuck ever, I, I really don't care. Other than that, I'm trying to get my uh, ghost board down be, 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 because this thing is actually recursed because it goes upwards from um, completely itself, okay? So let me just wait, okay? Would you please move, you freaking slut? Okay, now, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Would you please go? Yeah, this right here is the ghost board. Okay, <laughs> if you haven't been introduced yet, <laughs> I need to kind of um, <laughs> bring it into balance once again. Other than that, check out STEM merch. We got new merch. Okay, this right here is the Nomi collection, like I like to call it. Okay, math puns and the like. And other than that, that's basically it. See ya. <laughs> Ciao.